Um, in the US, we have um, this Internal Revenue Code Section 409A that will kind of mention that a few times here today, I'm sure. Under 409A, um, the exercise price of an option has to be equal to or greater than the fair market value of a share on the, on the data grant. So if I grant you like one option uh, to purchase one share and that share price at the time of the option is $10 per share, that exercise price has to be $10 or more, okay? So as long as you do that, you're gonna comply with 409A. And then yeah. later on, say let that- me jump, Let me jump in quick, Mac, I'm because yeah. like, this is super technical. I know we're simplifying it a lot. I'm gonna try and help simplify this. I hope I'm actually helping, but let's try. So for me, with the, in the life of an option, there's kind of four points. There's the, the granting point, which is the point where, hey, the company's sending the offer letter and we're doing the agreement and you know we're granting the option to the employee or contractor, whoever it is. And the next point is vesting. The next point is exercising. And then the next point after that, you know, will be exiting. And they can all, you know, some of those things can happen at the same time, but the sort of four main sort of moments in the life cycle of, of the option and becoming shares and getting the cash, getting the liquidity. So what we're talking about here is at the point of granting, you must do the 409A, which mm -hmm. establishes the exercise price, which then gets paid at that third point, which is the exercise point, right? So correct. It's like, it's a little bit confusing. So we're talking about the first bit and you have to do the 409A so that you don't make a mistake mm -hmm. on setting the wrong exercise price. And if you do set the wrong exercise price, you create like massive tax problems for both the company and the employee, or is it mainly just the, the employee that has the problem? So the, the thing with 409A is, unlike a lot of uh, US and other country tax code provisions, the penalty is actually on the employee, the participant, oh, no. versus like most of, the, most of these penalties we, we talk about in the, in, the, in the tax world are all on the company, the employer. But under 409A, if you, if, if, if you violate those rules, it's actually a 20% excise tax penalty uh, payable by the employee. So and they might have been. So they might have been given, for argument's sake, you know, twenty thousand dollars worth of equity. As you know, when they get it granted, and the company gets audited before they've been paid any money. The employee hasn't been paid any money yet. They haven't had their exit, and then they get yep. found to be in breach of four and A. And then the employee then what gets a tax bill of twenty percent of whatever options they've been given. Whatever the value is, and you do that every year. It's oh, it's man. a it can. It, it can add up really fast because there's also interest penalties that apply too. because a lot of times when these options are, are granted, people don't know, they don't, they don't think about, that's one of the biggest issues uh, for, for, for startups is getting a good valuation. Because yeah. if you don't get a good valuation, that comes up in a couple different ways. One is, you know, you have the risk of an IRS audit and people aren't filing their taxes right because the 409A violation is a yearly thing. So each year you have to pay the tax and the penalties. But then later on, you also have your your exit events uh, for the company. So when you have someone doing due diligence, like the mat for the buyer side, he's going to look at, okay, did you get a good valuation? And if not, he's going to say, did you did you company report this properly to the IRS? And that could be um, additional headaches when you're actually going for the sale of the company later on. So oh, that's, it, it it's really, be, it used to be that these 409As were extremely expensive and complicated, but, but most of the good cap table providers and law firms will have like a nice, reasonably simple, not, not mega simple, but it's much simpler, much more affordable, you know, including cake. We have that, you know, built in and I'm yeah. sure you have partners for that. So look, it's not that hard anymore. You've got to get the 409A. Let's make sure we massively, Put yeah. a big tick on that. So like, all right, so we're doing our, our grant, we're getting our 409A, we're making sure we're correctly setting the exercise price. 